Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of your favorite podcast, my favorite podcast, soon to be everybody's favorite podcast, the Anti-Hero Podcast, man. It's your boy Wraith here with Rogue. And behind the desk, we got that man, Mr. Producer, man. Say what's up. Yo. And we are now here back to you for episode six, right? Y'all been good? Same old, same old. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Same with you, Mr. Producer. Mm-hmm. Already known. We're going to start off with the news topic of the day. The NBA has launched an investigation into Dallas's roster decisions in last night's Bulls-Mavs game and the motivations behind those decisions. So basically, the Mavs got knocked out of playoff contention because they played the Bulls last night. And nobody was really expecting that to happen. Honestly, when you think of the Mavs and you think about the fact that they have both that man, Luka the Don, and Uncle Drew, the one and only Kyrie Irving, um, they're not super deep, but they got a comfortable amount of pieces. You didn't expect them to lose to the Bulls, basically, especially when the Bulls still are without Lonzo Ball. So they have uh, Valanchunas, and then they have, not Valanchunas, they have uh, Vucevic, and... um. Zach Levine and a couple other pieces, but they don't even have Alonzo Ball. So it's not like they were, uh, basically the Bulls weren't expected to win. Now, what ended up happening was basically the Mavs just threw the game and then open, openly basically told that they get that they threw the game. And the comment section on the post was killing me because right out the gate, um, uh, Brad Galley, one of the reporters, said they were trying to lose, save the league some time in investigating. Basically, they just owned up to the fact that they didn't care. And they were just like, we're going to go ahead and toss this one in. But the crazy thing is the fact that, you know, you technically can't do that nowadays because then that's that's kind of misleading. And it it kind of. It, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It kind of just like destroys the love of the game for some people. Hey, bro, you're going to have to stop molesting the mic. Yeah, you, My come fault, on, bro. bro. Like, come on, gang. My fault, OG. Yo, why is you driving <laughs> Yo, why is you driving me, yo? <laughs> yo, that, nah, I was thinking about the other nah, video. You, for what purpose? <laughs> my, my fault, original gangster. <laughs> my fault, original gangster. Nah. But basically, you're not supposed to throw games in the NBA. They threw a game, and it was the last game that they would have, basically by that loss, eliminating them. This is just another one in a long list of bills that that man Mark Cuban got because he loves getting fined, I guess. Because <laughs> that man been getting fined millions at this point, and they're definitely about to crack down and slap him with another fat one off this. That ain't nothing. Don't he, uh, he, he got like a, a big uh, part in a big like position in Microsoft? He's got. He's a big investment guy. He was. He was on Shark Tank. I think he might still oh, be. Oh yeah, he's. He was like yeah, one of the, main one of the big guys. Yeah. yeah. Like, so in other words, Mark makes money. Yeah. I mean, any own well, not all, but yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, some some nice. Uh, it's crazy that MJ, <laughs> like you would think, if he if he had Jordans, bro, like anybody else owning our team, bro. <laughs> yeah, we would actually be good. That well, Maybe he a is, he's a terrible owner, but just like money wise, like mm. you ain't making no money off. Like Nick Batum, <laughs> Nick Batum got most got, got tens of millions. Finesse, who else? Uh, fourth like quarter million. of yellow water. Batum, man. Who else? It, we we, we, we it, it been a water, few. Batum, it was somebody man. else recent. Yeah, that was a real bar. <laughs> fourth quarter. Water, what was the bar Batum, before man. that? What he said know. before that, I can't remember, bro. I don't even remember, bro. I just remember that line. Uh, he said, can't go in a club. They won't let me bring my tool in or something like that. Fourth quarter yelling, what a f- platoon, man. <laughs> oh, Biombo. I think Biombo, like the third time round, got like a crazy contract for he no did. reason. He got like 15 mil a year or something crazy. Bish smacked Biombo. W Rim Protector giving you five and five a game. Nah, Shoot, sure, Hashim Tabi could have did that. Nah, Hashim Tabi never did do that, actually. Give him 48 minutes to play with. No, I'm kidding. 
<laughs> I'm not even get yeah. you a block too. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Let's see what we got for us today. Oh, y'all saw that man, Lil TJ, over in Sweden with all the snow bunnies when the video dropped. Yeah, yeah. They everybody was clowning in the comment section, and then on Twitter they was really going after him because they had the uh, they had Dr. Umar all the clips sitting there all in the comment section going at him about it. But I mean, to me, it was just when you're famous and you pop and you do what you want. And how many of us are really going to end up going to Sweden in our lifetime? But somebody really said something that kind of worked too. They were like, wait till the allegations drop. I mean, he was acting like he was going to show up there and meet some dark-skinned queens in Sweden. I'd be surprised if he met a black person in Sweden. Well, there's a couple out there. It's like one, two yeah, percent couple. population. Couple. You think You don't think they would have been at a bar with him? They wouldn't have been at a club with him? Why would they? For what reason would they have the need to? Fair enough. Can't even mad at that. It's like being in Arkansas, bro, and just black. It's like it's like, come on, man. Like really, it doesn't happen. I mean, the video. I guess dude was mad, but can you be surprised? What was he supposed to find up there? You thought he was gonna like document a liquor tasting or something? Nobody cares about that stuff. So, interesting thought. Do you ever, I feel like this question is more something that you, you might think about. Yeah. Um. Do you ever mm-hmm. get the urge to go to war? No. Never? No. Or just like the strong, like the masculine urge to just see warfare up close and personal? Yes. But no, I won't go to war. Under no circumstances would I. Hmm. Now, now explain that a bit for me. I've had the urge to buy an axe before and just cut down a tree. If I had money at the time, I would have definitely did it. I mean, yeah. I used to want to be a plumber. And a welder. You can still be those things, man. Nah, I don't feel like having You might as well out. get you a trade. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> just no. like your father, man. Nah. I could. I thought about being a welder though. I used to watch those videos where it'd be like the dude will walk around the welding shop or like whatever, like trade school thing that is, and it'll be like, "How much you think this puppy's worth? Or how much you think it works worth? Metal works. They make like, swords. You seen those videos? I have. Yeah, just make a sword. And buddy will be like, uh, like twenty dollars an hour. He's like, "Well, you're selling yourself short. It's more like twenty eight. A nice little 28. This is a nice little 30. This is a nice little 25, something like that. And I just found those videos would be so appetizing to the eyes, just watching the metal, just like mold. I and then guess. you decide to get a degree in mass communications and Mickey Mouse major, bro. I have a degree. Do you have yours yet? You will one day, but today's not that. One day, when I get mine, I will be far. First of all, let me just point out, you took pre-calculus to get your degree, buddy. Okay. Pre-calculus. Yeah. You think I wanted to take calculus? I took up the... Because you like math. I I didn't. I did it because I had to. I just love... So you hate math. Now? Yeah. I don't know anything about math anymore. But before did you? I haven't did... I haven't taken math in... Three years. Like, I haven't taken a single, but those math goals that I took carried me through my entirety of college. Like, I will never, with the exception of statistics, have to take another math class again. Yeah, I, I just didn't like math. So I'm going to take the lowest one you're going to allow me to. Don't say that you didn't like it. You weren't good at it. Yeah, that's why I didn't like it. <laughs> what? Fair enough. If I get A's and everything else and I get a B, I, I consistently get a B in, B in it, and then I get a C in it, you think I'm going to like it? No. I'm getting I'm getting perfect and darn near perfect grades and everything else but that. I feel like everybody has a, a urge to go to war at some point or become a hero, you know, save the school or something like that. But unfortunately, uh, I'm still not bulletproof. <laughs> I've yet to gain that ability. So... One bullet is all it takes, and if 7,000 people die in one battle, I'm going to most definitely be one of those 7,000. I'm not special. 
I get taken out real quick, man. Like, I look, I can punch and kick all I want, bro, but brass knuckles ain't going to help me on a, in a trench warfare. I don't know. Trench warfare might be, a, you might have better luck with it if you're actually battling in the trenches. No, not in a trench. I'm saying trench warfare. Oh, you're talking about like World War II type. To, to get to another enemy's trench, you have to run, bro. Nobody's. I thought you were the one. You know how mad I would be. I thought you were the one in the trench. You understand? You know how mad I would be if I'm sitting there in the trenches and we're in a fight and all of a sudden a dude hops in with brass knuckles and starts swinging, bro, and I die to that. You know, I would shoot myself. <laughs> like I getting, couldn't go out like that, bro. That's like getting pickaxed to death in Fortnite. <laughs> it, exactly. That's like getting punched in in Minecraft, bro. Like he said, I don't have, I don't care about one shotting you. I'm not gonna pull this pistol off my belt. The fact that someone even makes it there. <laughs> Like, you would have to, like, send an entire army unit just to make one person get there, bro, in no in the middle of no man's land? It was called no man's land. Um, there were men out there. They just weren't alive. Trench war, I'm, there's nothing you could do. You could bench as much as you want, bro, but that ain't going to help you in a war. That's just me, though. But me personally, if they had another draft, I would simply get arrested or die. Just me though, because I I prefer to receive bullets rather than to give them. To receive bullets instead of give them, I'm I'm better at catching them. Oh, that was I played in my strengths. Okay, I was about to say no, that was that wasn't football joke, bro. <laughs> I'm just I played in my strengths. I'm better at catching the bullets than delivering them. Cause you're black. No, just in general. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm not the American sniper, man. It's easier to shoot me than for me to shoot you, man. <laughs> <laughs> F that. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in there like Yosemite Sam on a battlefield, bro. Just shooting <laughs> left and right. Friendly fire about to go crazy, bro. <laughs> no, no. Stomp no. uh what is it? Stonewall Jackson or whatever, bro. Whatever the name was. Yeah. Gonna be a whole lot of them if you put me in a military unit, bro. <laughs> no. Man, look. I mean I feel like everybody gets that itch at some point. I feel like a lot of people like in today's day and age, if you start daydreaming in a classroom, you start thinking about like, what if a school shooter walked up in here, and I'm and I'm um I gotta protect the class. I mean, it's W. Like propaganda, I gotta catch him at the door because like nobody would think this if we didn't have like hero movies, bro. Like yeah. I can, we have the ability to look at a movie where seven thousand people go to war and one becomes a hero, and look at that movie and be like, yeah, I could be him. I'm that one person. Yeah, like look, That's two of us can say that right now, and look, one of us, at least, at least, <laughs> at least one of us, gonna be in that six thousand nine hundred ninety nine, bro. And trust me, look, I'm not that guy. I just accept that. I play to my strengths. I don't go out there, man. I know I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be that one person. So I'm just, I'm gonna just cool back. I'm gonna be rooting for y'all on the sideline, man, like an NPC. And then when that one person gets back, I'm going to be like, oh, congratulations. Throw a parade for him and everything, bro. Give him the keys of the city or something like that. But no, I'm not going to be out there on that battlefield, man. But it's like W propaganda because if if prop- like if there weren't like military movies and stuff, you think I would just sit there and like, like out of nowhere just go, just like wake up and I'm like, yeah, I got to go fight the Chinese or something like that. Like, yeah, those those Brits are gonna get it this time. Like, no, yeah, you know as well. What they used to get amped off of posters. Yeah, they, Uncle oh, Sam. They saw that Uncle Sam needs you, and it was like, I'm be real. That got them riled up. They are. You they put Uncle Sam. Pumping. The only thing that could have got them even more riled up is you put Jesus Beer? Christ right on oh. there, bro. You give. You promise them. Uh, it, 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 a seat at the like, table with God himself. Like they, they, uh, bro. Your Lord and Savior demands. There's bro. levels to this, bro. They had. You gotta think about the context. This is World War II. They had nothing. Yeah. They had nothing but a dead end job, bro. Not only could you escape the wife, finally, you could, <laughs> you could like, you could go to war, gain honor. Your country needs you. Jesus Christ Himself needs you, bro. And you get to kill people. They had some. They had some steam to let off because there was a lot of people. Yeah. Some of the husbands they didn't get in trouble when they came home. You know, set them straight a little bit. You know, gave them a yeah. little check up. You know, yeah. a little, <laughs> you know, a little check the attitude, <laughs> fix your face. You know, yeah. one of them. Yeah. But then some of them, you know, they was holding it in, bro. They was like, 
they were like to the point almost every yeah. single day. They get home and it's like it wouldn't even be tuna salad, bro. You're like, where's dinner at? Honey, honey, and she's not even home. She's out with the gals or something like that, bro. She come home two hours later, and he's sitting there knocked out on the couch, nothing in his stomach. All he hears growling, no snoring, bro, just growling from the tummy. Those type of dudes, you give them a gun and a dream, Honestly. it didn't it didn't matter if they didn't care that Hitler was a bad person. They didn't care that the Jap now look, the Japanese in Pearl Harbor. They, look, America felt that, that was, one. That was different because they that happened, they literally said, especially even with the Vietnam War, they were literally they they had posters of propaganda saying they're taking and raping our women. They saw the posters and the posters were so graphic. They didn't have TV back in the day, so back when those posters came out and they saw the a- the Asians looking like animals sitting there ripping the clothes off of American women. They said, no, we got to get active because they, they look at the bed in their bed at that night at their wife as she slept soundly in her nightgown. And they said, I can't let somebody take her from me. I got across the sea. I'm the only on one who can hit her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, you know, the black yeah. people were probably sitting there. They saw them pissed they're like, it's about time somebody else got the blame. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 that. Them posters got people so fired up. There was black people that wanted to join the military, bro. They they yeah. felt the obligation to join the military. They seen it. They said, "We're up against." For once, the black people aren't the enemy. Man, the it's benefits about were time. It. And the benefits, like you what? came back and they treat you m- m- like you're almost white. Please, like, bro, almost the red baron. That man got thirty nine kills or something like that and clocked out. Died. Pilots didn't come home. If they came home, if you came home as a pilot, bro, you got sent out on the next mission. They sent you out until you didn't come home. <laughs> yeah. That's what the job was. And when the Red Baron, when dudes, when you heard that the Red Baron was in the air, bro, dudes were quivering, wings flailing, bro, shaking and everything, shuddering. He was a legend. And when he died, you think they cared that he died? They didn't care he died. They cared he lived. He was a legend, man. He was that guy. That was... I mean, that was back when when uh, uh, the generals would, you know, touch the battlefield a little bit. Dwight D. Eisenhower was out there in the field a little bit. Now, nah, I mean, he wasn't no George Washington. He wasn't sitting there sailing the Hudson River, but he was, he was a little something, I guess. George Washington, they talked him up like he was Jesus' brother or something, man. Like, the, like he rose he was like on he the rose boat again, leading bro. it. I'm saying, bro. They like, bro, was... Like the, the uh, people were sitting there getting seasick, and the paddles went out to sea. And George Washington took he off grabbed the boat, two of the paddles. They like they act like he sat there and jumped into the water, started walking, and grabbed the boat and dragged him <laughs> along with him. Bro. They treat him now. Now, I mean, he said, "Nah." He said, "Men at ease, pull your paddles on upon your lap and rest." And then he grabbed two of his own and sat down in the back of the boat, and it started cranking. They start, he started moving like Sylvester after he seen a dog or something, bro. Like Tom after Spike showed up, bro. Man, look. Propaganda don't hit like you used to. No, I mean, I, I guess the media. Because we're like, we're good. smarter and more understanding of things and we have a better world, a larger worldview. Back then, you just knew what was going on down the street. Like, bro, you know, if a balloon went over our head and we thought it didn't matter if it was a regular balloon, some kid could have left their, their, uh, what is it like like birthday balloon and it just floated up in the air so one person says the chinese spy balloon all the hillbillies gonna be out there with their (laughs) shotguns shooting shooting at it i mean we're about to deploy we're about to self-deploy man like we don't need the generals to give us authorization we're about to self-deploy half the male population of any age you're gonna have 70 year olds sitting there oh it's, it's about time i ain't seen a battle in a minute i'm ready to go back Let's let's get rid of it. Like, come on, man. They was they've been having PTSD getting them ready the and you past know, fifty years. Uh, they, they, they gonna said, say they gonna make they up a, a new- siren go off and they the one that was in a that was comatose. Eyes roll back to the front of his head and he said, "Put me in my chair. It's time for me to he go." Gonna wheel over they there, have bro. summoned me. Like, bro. Nah, but there's just something so manly about it. I guess. About being that, about the possibility of being that one to come back with the, to the victor go the spoils, obviously. So being able to come back and being the victor of the war 
and being hailed as the hero by not only the people in your immediate vicinity, but the people that you don't even know and you may never even meet in your life. Personally, that ain't me. I Maybe you get the sudden urge to die in a war on some Eastern <laughs> European land or something, but me? Like, you, you could be the hero. I'm going to be over here like uh, uh, the feminine man I am, bro, <laughs> sitting there with my, 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 my hand sitting there like this in my lap as you walk in the house. Oh, Sati, is that Cole? I know that I'm going to sit there and greet you at the door, bro, have the dinner laid out and everything, bro. I'm not going to be out there in the field, though. Man, look. I don't even think that it, being a foot soldier now is crazy. Oh no, it's bro. horrible. Like it's horrible. you, you out there? We have then, actual like, accurate artillery. You just, you just like it's not even the artillery, bro. You just hear. You like? Wait a minute. Do you do you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> and then a bomb just <laughs> dropped, bro. What are you supposed to do? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. The best thing that the the only good thing about wars that in the understanding between all nations is the fact that we don't use we don't go as far as to use chemical warfare. Like the mustard gas days mustard. were crazy. Hey, hey. You see the trenches, dog. You just pull that. You pull well, that pin well, and toss it down brotherhood, there. Brotherhood, and they say, "What is that?" America, and it just pop out like Jesus smoke. Christ mattered too, so much to everybody until mustard gas got dropped in the trenches. It was every man for himself. Your man. lungs are melting. I mean, if there was a dead man, you might just put your face into his like uniform, bro, just to live. Exactly. Gas, dudes were sitting bro, there killing man. over those gas masks, man. I don't, that's a that's a terrible way to go. Mustard gas, bro. Cause ain't no way. Mm -mm. I, that I was couldn't. peak. You got to think about it. Just forget the warfare. That was peak chemistry. Like them chemists were in the lab twenty four seven, not a day off. They were in there scheming. They were like, "How can we make the world a worse place?" What's crazy is the the chemicals that we have now in our cleaning products can create mustard gas. So the fact that yeah. Like back then, it probably occurred on accident, and then they were the war came around, and it was like, How can we mass produce this at its most diabolical way possible in the mo in the worst way? I feel bad for the first people that got hit with mustard gas, like not like in the experimental stage. I'm saying, like, if Germany came up with it and they just like tossed that over to the to the Britons, man, and then they just started in the trench, like, What's that? Hey, smell it, and then the whole squad wiped out. Done. That'd be horrible. Nobody would Five be, able, minutes. be able to tell what that what happened. The, imagine you leave your your platoon, bro. You're the commander, or whatever, and you come back 15 minutes later, and it is like you can't even tell who's who. Like you just yeah. like, you just got to measure them to know who's the tallest, bro. Like that's all you can do. Wow. The like, dog tags. That's what it was really there for. Ain't even I, know it. True, true, true. Man, look. All right. So, to switch the gears, we got a little age-old question for you. Would you rather... What? <laughs> nah, everybody love asking that one. Um, would you rather cheat on your girlfriend or snitch on your best friend? Now, if you snitch on your best friend, he's going to jail for a minimum 25 years. 25 minimum. Like he's a criminal, criminal. Wait, wait, what? Did or it could just be a drug charge. Who what? knows? But he's gonna get twenty five. He's guaranteed twenty five. Hey, I'm gonna be real. off the rip. If you snitch, he's get he's catching twenty five. Or cheat on your girlfriend. She's not cheating on you. You're cheating on her. Look, bro. Your girlfriend, not your wife. Your girlfriend. If that helps any, I don't know if it does. There's no way that you just weighed. Emotional distress against 25 years in a brotherhood. There's no way that I'm ratting my boy out and sending him to jail for 25 years. I would I would kill myself so that he wouldn't go to jail. Of course I would cheat on her. <laughs> the heck, man? He said it. I thought he was gonna say something like uh he would he wouldn't he would resent you for the rest of his life if you told on him or something like that. No, he said he'd go to jail for 25 years. You don't know what would go on there. I mean, he could completely switch sides. Be a whole different person when he gets out, man. Over cheating on my girl? Like, I love you, but I, I love you. I love you. No, you're not listening. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. 
I I had to do it. I had no other choice. Like she just gonna have to understand. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> okay, so if you cheat on her, are you telling her? If like if so, are we saying that I didn't know that if I didn't cheat on her, that my boy would get locked up, or I knew and deliberately chose that decision? You knew and you chose. I'm coming to her like you gotta understand. It was you or him, but it she doesn't. You. She doesn't know. Oh, that I cheated. Yes, yeah, she doesn't know. Like if you tell her, you would be the first person to tell her. Abraham Africanus Lincoln once said, "I cannot tell a lie." I would hope that she would be honest with me, so I'm gonna be honest with her. I understand. Cause I'm a man of morals, a man of principles. That's just how I move, though. Your take? You you know sending me to jail? No, you're like my best friend. I can't you're send you me to jail. Twenty five? You say you let me go to jail? I, you have me I, rot- I'm, and I'm the reason? <laughs> no. I couldn't. You just pose the simplest question in history. I would bro. fuck a homeless man before I send you to jail. If it was between me fucking a homeless man and you getting twenty five years, why did he go to that extent? I need you to understand how far you could have said that you would have took twenty five years, bro. Uh, I, I I can't take twenty five. What? I can't take. 25. What? I can't. You're taking. You're not taking twenty five for me, bro. Me or you? And you did crazy. the crime. I'm just not saying anything. I'm not gonna snitch on you, but I can't take twenty five. If you don't say nothing, don't give me twenty five. You gotta prove me innocent. If you don't prove me innocent, I'm going down for twenty five, bro. But then, what does that mean for me? Get You're getting locked up. If you, if 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 I if, if I prove you innocent, that means I'm going to jail. Me or you? It's me. Or I you. can't go for twenty five. I can't. I I you love you. Twenty five for I me. Need it. I would take the twenty five for you. There's no way you're serious. Yeah, I would. I would. I would take the twenty. I know he bro. would take the twenty five. That would weigh on my what, conscience what so hard, bro. It? I would take that twenty. Because you really don't care about much, anyway. I would take that twenty five, bro. You really taking that twenty five? I would take thirty. Stop. I'm. I'm serious. Stop. I'm would serious. You, would you take life? <laughs> there it is. So where is the breaking point? Wait, are we saying like you're sentenced to life and I'm sentenced to life, or one or the other? One of us. Yes. Are you taking life? You know it's, I love you, right? <laughs> what? Like, it's, da- it's the same. Bro, what you doing at damn near 50? Bro, that's Shoot, crazy. Maybe I could still get an erection, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> get it something. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't see, I don't see 25. If, if you said 10, that's a big difference. Yeah. yeah 25 10, years 10 from like, now, bro, I ain't even looking that far ahead. Yeah, so 25. That's... Because most what's guys to, reach their financial peak in their mid forties, so what's it, exactly what's it to look forward to in my mid forties? Uh, cookouts. Yeah, barbecue slides. Calling all your you little what? Call <laughs> the, the cookout slides. Calling all your uh, nephew <laughs> nieces and nephews the same thing. Call them sport. Hey sport. <laughs> hey there. Hey there, buddy. How you been? Yep. Still going on that football thing? Ah, talking. Heard you had a tough one last week. Fresh out Go you, get them next time. Your dog to the vet. Jail, though, they don't know you. Taking your dog to the vet. I would make sure that they knew you, bro. I would make sure, bro. I would hype you up like you was Superman, bro. Yeah, Superman in the nightmare timeline because I'm doing 25 <laughs> Bizarro, years. I killed Bizarro somebody. <laughs> or oh, you had a zip of weed on you in the wrong I, 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 I probably would take a, a life sentence, bro. If I knew if I knew that I wasn't getting out, bro, and that you weren't getting out, I would take that, bro. I would take that charge, bro. I appreciate that. I'd probably spend the time beating people up, bro. <laughs> like just like like I got nothing to lose really. I is I'd probably be in like solitary, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be over there like training like I was Uncle Iroh or something. And then just like fight or Shadow box for fifty years on end. <laughs> Hopefully, I just have to hope that like a light, uh, a galaxy threatening event happens, and then they need me for some reason because I'm like their strongest soldier, and like we need you. And I just like walk out there like like that guy. But I would take that, bro. I'm hurt that you wouldn't take that for me, bro. See, this is the issue, right? <clears throat> this is the issue. 
I'm currently battling the religious battle between if religion is real or if there's just a black void that we end up in when we pass. So under that context, I can't spend the majority of my life or the entirety of my life contemplating it within four cement cells. I need something to um, stimulate the mind and distract me from the inevitable consequence of being born that I will face. I mean, we at the end of the day, we all die, bro. Yeah. We act like dying is like some glamorous, terrible, malicious event or something, bro. Like, we just die. Like, it's not like, like, obviously it's not like a <laughs> game complete or something <laughs> like that. Like, 100%. But, like, in my head, bro, like, look, I was just, I simply was built different. I was the fastest in there, all right? I was fast. I got to the goal first. I was conceived, and here I am. But all those other ones that didn't con- get conceived, they're simply dead. So I'll be dead too. I mean, I'm special. I'm more special than them. I'm not like invincible special, you know? Yeah. I was like, I'll die, and this is what it is. I just vibe out while I'm here, and if I just get locked up for life, then that's just what it is, man. But yeah, in all seriousness, you would have to take the time, and I'll end up breaking you out of jail after about five to ten years when I have the money to, for us to go to Guatemala or something. <laughs> <laughs> you got the money to go nowhere right now, bro. Yeah, yes, I said money. in he five said, to ten years. Saying, he said he break me you, out. Bro. What are you in a crime ring or something, bro? You breaking him out of a maximum security prison. He in a mafia or something, bro? Like he who? could just be in a regular prison. It don't mean he in Rikers Island. He's doing 25 years. Yeah. Bro, oh my gosh, bro. I can take the 25. You don't get put in you don't get 25 years and get put in a, a small You're not getting put jail. in a county jail, I know. You but get, that don't mean he's gonna be in lockdown. But maximum, Especially if maximum he's, security. Yeah, but if he's in good behavior, right? Let's say it was a drug charge. That was the reason. He didn't even kill nobody. It was just a it drug don't charge. Matter. If you got 25 years. You yeah, so he's going to be he gonna be in that place, but there's also going to be a lot of crooked workers in that this place. Man legitimately, I'm that's find, legitimately like saying, what would you do if like you were about to die? And he's like, I just simply wouldn't. Like, <laughs> you can't. You can't do I'll that. I'll say that too. <laughs> like, bro, what? I'll make, see... Your lack of faith in me is disturbing. I would make it happen. Nah, because you... If you would be willing to take the time for me, I would get you out of there. It didn't matter what it took. I would get you out of there. If you tried to take the time for me, I would take the time. I would forcefully take the time, bro. This is the kind of dude I am. And you would probably... I'd be like, nah, I'm going to take the time, bro. And you'd be like, okay, all right. And back off. Nah. That's what you would do. I'd be like, what you? probably that dude that when he had the... On a date... He's like, I'll pay for it. And he like, he doesn't reach for it completely. Like he, he's like, oh, is that the bill? And he's like, and he just like casually reaches for it. And then when she says, I got it, he's like, oh, oh, I, I was gonna get it, but okay, if, if you want nah, it, you can have it. Nah, I know you be pulling I look, that. Move. I look at, I literally never pulled that move ever. I don't even pull that move with my friends when we go out to eat. I'll be like, that's the only time. <laughs> See only time. <laughs> See only time, brother. <laughs> he got called a broke boy. Listen here. Listen here, monkey. <laughs> you your what refund you checks like? can stay over there. First of all, it wasn't just refund checks, bro. I grinded for that money, bro. I worked an entire job for that. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. At the end of this month, I'll be getting a second month salary as long as Uncle Sam doesn't decide to dig deeper into my pockets as well. But if he to does, I want to be screwed. Yeah, man. I appreciate that, but no. In all seriousness, I would have. I it w- would not, in good conscience, sit with me for the rest of my life. That you, you took- cannot take me out, right? What do you mean? I cannot take you. You cannot out? get me out of jail. You cannot get out of jail if you go. You serve the entire twenty five years. I serve the entire twenty five years. I'm, no visitation. I'm going to attempt to break you out of jail. No, no, no. no. Even That's if I fail. Listen, listen. I if you're telling me I'm going to fail. Like there's no there's no world where Sadiq, I successfully. If you try, they're jail. going to kill me. Okay, that's different. All right, so which one now? <laughs> which one? You got to take that time, man. You see exactly, bro. Like, but trust when you get out. Oh, trust me, 
I'll get you out. I, I trust me. I can get the money. You can't even get the money now, bro. I'm talking about you gonna get the money. <laughs> what you mean? I just started in the career field. Let me cook for a minute. Dang. Ain't I no put money the butter in the pot. You said no money you where cook. you work at. There is no money where you work at, bro. Hey. You trying to cook with absolutely no season or food, bro. You got utensils, man. Hey. You gonna cook it just the pen? Like, it just looked that way. Cause I cause of the car loan, the car insurance. I'm pretty sure you paid for and like three loan. cars already with the car loan, bro. Nah, but I ain't paying too much. I really should have just got a Hellcat online. I should have got an SRT though. Should have no, got a. Uh, you shouldn't have. She got a Challenger. You hey, a, for the money I'm paying right now, you should just got a. I should got an RT. At least, do you, Sadiq? Look, let me tell you. The gas. Be the same. You would live at a gas station, buddy. Oh yeah, low key. Yeah. So they would be like double the gas cost, bro. I was really thinking about it. If I worked at the closest one to us. Then I would literally fill up my gas tank like once a month, or like once every three weeks at least. Because right now I fill up once a week. So if I worked at the one that's four minutes down the road, as opposed to the one that's twenty five, you could just get now? a Prius and get like a thousand miles a Prius off like, of five gallons of gas. Is like the the gayest car. It's man not could gay. Drive. And it's Saving like money ain't gay. gay. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. This is a Prius. Hey, it's not. Hey, look, top speed maybe only like one hundred ten miles per hour. I mean, it but may what can be, you do? What you what you what business you got doing one ten in a Prius, one twenty in a Prius? You got doing one ten in any car. If it's a Hellcat, they expect you to. If it's no, any Challenger, you Charger, would be, Camaro, if you Mustang, seen any video of anybody Corvette, in a Hellcat anything. or Mustang? Have you seen the comments? A black man in a Hellcat, bro. That's drug money. Automatically, that's the assumption, man. Yeah, it is. And he's like, no. I'm an educator. Like, <laughs> hey, heck, gotta gotta help the youth get to that bag, man. Bro, I would. I, I personally would not get a, any muscle car until I genuinely made it, bro. Because last thing I'm trying to do is go broke off of gas. Yeah, gas, bro. I can't believe you seen that talking about. Yeah, I should have got a. I should get an SRT. Like, I'm I'm talking about because of the money that I'm forking out right now. You paying? How much are you paying? Like almost five hundred. Almost five hundred a month. Yeah. Oh, oh that's and that's like, excluding like insurance. Five hundred thousand. You I'm like what? What? I'm like you under a jail right now. If you include the insurance, I'm paying like seven, almost eight, like seven fifty a month. A month, yes. For that car, at that point, I should have just got it. Yeah, you you not making it out, but I ain't gonna lie, it's over for you. Life's over. Nah, <laughs> like, I'm about to switch my insurance. Hole. I'm about I'm about to, I'm about to be uh, with Flow and Progressive for real, cause uh, what's his name from State Farm? Jake. Jake, yeah, Jake. You ain't been saving me money, dog. What is it? Uh, you haven't. I'm not gonna lie. A lock in, uh, please. Bro, I personally, I would just get a motorcycle. I would just have a motorcycle. <laughs> don't put me on a motorcycle, please. <laughs> yeah, you don't belong on a motorcycle. You're not a free spirit like me. <laughs> oh, please. I'm gonna give me a uh, <clears throat> Ford F one fifty, a Dodge Wrangler, and then a motorcycle. Go and get a dirt bike and go up to the mountains, show off my four wheel drive on my Jeep. I used to think Durangos were lame until I saw one like flying down the highway. And I was like, wow, it's actually a mini that minivan got wheels. That was what really caught me off guard. Cause I was not expecting that at all. I'm going to get me one of them four-wheel drive uh, trucks and just live out my days in the mountains with an axe and a dream. Bro, I saw a video of, it wasn't Wyoming, or it might have been, and he just looks so nice and peaceful out there, dog. There isn't anything out there. Just exactly. Woods. I mean, there I might like, be, like, as far as we know, there could be <clears> dinosaurs <throat> out there still. Like, we don't There's know probably bison out there. out there. They're definitely, yeah. Imagine it's like the home of bison. I'm pretty sure. Imagine building in South a mansion out there, and then just living See, out no those electricity. You are gonna be walking around with candles? Yeah, no. You have so get solar panels if you buy, if you build in a mansion. You, you need got money an entire like electrical generation system, bro. Like you are not even connected to the power grid at that time, bro. Yeah, there's no Wi-Fi. You know how hard that would be. Hey, Elon, Elon had them uh you might as well created those those blimp things. <laughs> you might as well floaters. build a new city, bro. Like build a whole new Wyoming Owning city. Owning a city bro. would be crazy though. I'm not gonna lie. 
I used to want to own. I used to want to have a buy an island, and then build a city on it, and just invite my friends there, to live out their days. But then eventually we'd be inbred. Like six, seven, twelve generations down the line, like everybody would be some somewhat related. No, that doesn't make sense to you. What kind of? It's an island. It's not a country. And if I'm just taking... Genics, are you practicing, bro? (laughs) Okay, so if I invite my friends to the island, right? They have kids. I have kids. Let's say I have a thousand friends and me, right? That means there's a thousand pairs of people, which means there's going to be a thousand and one different types of kids that will continually mix until the triangle just cuts down until it's just almost a singular line. Of, so assuming none of them die. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, should hope. I, should have my, I should hope my island has great health care. Not on my watch. <laughs> Man, look. <laughs> We're not going to be playing who done it. <laughs> on the Ain't no police out there, man. <laughs> the police is me. I am the law. You, you I am your me, judge, you juror, that, and executioner. You don't last that many generations? I'll last as many as it takes. Go ahead and turn me into cyborg because I'm ready to blick anybody that acting out. They're going to stage a coup on you, bro. <laughs> I gave you this land. You're here because of me. Man, I'd be like, what are... At that point, you're if pushing I'm it. That many, if I'm lasting that many you're generations, pushing it, buddy. I should have been dead a long you're time ago. You're pushing it. I'll literally be a ghost. I'm talking about, I'll be Madara. Have to be at that nah, point. you be you be Itachi's dad. Bro, Bro. He got on his knees and got sliced up. He surrendered at that point. And he got on his knees and got. Let's sli- not act like Fugaku wasn't wasn't hard, bro. He wasn't Itachi, but I guess he was good. He his abilities were Hokage level. How come every single time we talk about somebody they Hokage level? I mean, White no, Fang was Hokage was. level. Uh, Who? <laughs> everybody, uh, uh, the White Fang was. We got all the Sonny is Hokage level. Who can't be Hokage, bro? Every old head. Lady Chio was probably Hokage no, level, bro. No, no, no. Who wasn't Hokage level? She literally level? was not. She literally was not. She was. She might have been Kaze Kage level because I mean, yeah, they, them boys they get were slumped left and right. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they get packed up every. They had. They had every zero ten years. good shinobi, bro. It was just Gara holding down the whole city. And That's that, why they had to make the puppet like the air, You remember there was like, there was like the one dude who had who had like the really bad cough who was hosting the chewing exams, and he went like spied on them or something. Mm. And there was like the one dude that the the sand ninja that ended up killing him. Mm. I don't know where he went. He couldn't do nothing against anybody, bro. They they used to sit there and like line up in like a wall of three hundred shinobi just to cast one jutsu, bro. That's how sorry they were. They couldn't do it solo, bro. See, they got the job done when it counted. They had just enough. They had just enough in the tank. That was it. But nah. Uh, I mean, I guess in the same vein, well, nah. Let's keep it light. What? If you had to pick an apocalypse. Oh, what were you going to say? Oh, you want, you want that one? Do you fear death? No. How do you feel about it? What is, what is death? The possibility we of all, death make you feel? I mean, we all die. So what do you feel about it? When that time comes, how, okay, when that time comes, how do you think you'll react? It would probably sound something like, uh, <laughs> something like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Won't be anything special or anything like that, bro. <laughs> I'm just, you know, cashing my chips, clock out. Complete my humanity, man. Do what everybody else did before me and after me, man. I mean, yeah. This is what it is. Oh, I wouldn't say I fear it. It's just the constant unknowingness of what occurs beyond it. Dust to dust, ash to ash. Like, what if if there is no sort of afterlife? What if there is no reincarnation? You just... Once your consciousness ceases to exist in this realm, you are you cease to exist forever. Time is no longer linear for you. It just you are nothing. I personally don't believe that there is an afterlife. Not for me. 
You know, I'm just I'm just fading the abyss, man. I had that phase. I climbed out of it, but I'm still kind of like te- I, I found myself the other day, uh, last night actually, just teetering on that edge, possibility. I don't know. Like if you really think about it, like that's why, uh, like wars and stuff, bro. Like I don't really. I'm just, I don't particularly I'm not support not that simply because uh, it's rather archaic. The people who can like morally justify killing another person are simply scared of death. Like if like a home invasion, right? Let's say I live on my own. If a person breaks in with a gun, I'm going to die first of all. I don't beat a gun. But morally, if you were to kill that person, that would simply mean that you are scared of death. Okay. So if you were a religious person, you question... Are you, do you follow religion? Because you think about it, in that scenario, you think to yourself, would God hate me for dying? Would he love me more for killing? Like, like if you died, are you wrong for dying? That's basically it. Like, are you, am uh, I wrong for dying? That's scenario. Would God hate me if I died? Why would he hate me for dying? Would he love me more for killing? No. So why would I kill him? I would just die. But then you, if you kill somebody, you think about it, you're like, uh, uh, dang, what was I saying? You're like, if if you can justify by God killing, it really questions, do you believe in God because you fear God or because you fear godless death? Fair. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, everybody dies. Everything that exists here and has existed is dying and is dead. And I'm not special. I'm not an exception to that. So I'm just vibe out while I'm here and clock out when it's my time, man. And if there's an afterlife, I'm just be chilling with the devil. (laughs) <laughs> but it's like I remember like what is it one dude they were like or I seen like a, a tweet or something talking about one thing that's wild to me is people talking about how you get like punished in hell with the devil and like at the end of the day it's it's not like the devil is like a hero like he's literally there because he did near like stuff that we did I guess like, I guess we got there because we acted like him. You think he would, like, he repented his sins or something, and now he wants to be in heaven, so now he just punishes us when we go to hell? Or do you think he's just down there just chilling with us, just, like, cool, and he's like, you did what, man? I did the same thing. Like, <laughs> like come on. Like, you did. <laughs> no, I was real, bro. That is crazy. I mean, I understand. I get it. I get it. I mean, I hope there's not an abyss. Yeah. That would really suck. Like, for other people, I hope there's not an abyss. But me, I just, I came to terms, man, at like the age of seven that there was an abyss. Like, I'm just, that's it. That's the end of the line for me. I wonder if that's more of a guy thing to, a uh, guy type of conclusion to come up to. To what? Like, or to accept the possibility of an abyss. I or doubt the that. I was just simply scared of going to sleep and I fell asleep and I imagined that death would be like that without dreaming. I mean, yeah, that that's the thought we all have. You, you but how right? is it? How did you come to the conclusion that it's easier for guys to come to terms with? I just came to terms with it because I can't stop. I feel, it. Because we listen. I we look can, at. I look at. We the, are entertained by staring at walls. I look at a political and at clouds look, in the sky. I look at a political situation, bro, and I see them about to pass like one of the most racist acts that could ruin my entire life. And you know what I say? I say, all right, I'll just X out the tab. There's not I can exactly do. like, but we're more likely to, to do me, that than say. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Perfect example. Like right? they, the the great thing is the female just caught a shot random. They just caught a stray. You ain't like nobody <laughs> said love, anything about them. Hey, bro. I love giving out the strays. Nobody said anything about them, and he just I, wants to bring the it. The thing I don't do you is think feed God, the homeless. You think guys are better at coping? Didn't you say some like, uh, uh, what is it? Coping with uh, the emotional turmoil uh, associated with something. I don't remember. Yeah, what it was. with loss or whatever. Girls are better at that. Like, bro, their I said their process is better. Is uh, more conduct more conducive to success for them. Yeah. So I mean, like, yeah. I wasn't saying it was a bad thing. Maybe you think Some about it. We'll take it like, that way. From a, mm, uh, uh, yeah, but go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, cook. Uh, go ahead. No, I'm you not, cook I don't want to go. I want to get on the on the religious <laughs> side of this. Oh, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Stick with the heathens. <laughs> he, this is crazy. Wait, what you mean? Oh, um, I was no, I wasn't gonna support religion. I wasn't gonna support it. Yeah, that's what you said. You said I, I, you, you refrain from sticking on the religious side of things, which is crazy during Ramadan. But hey. I do this cause I, cause I love you and I love you, bro. I do this for y'all, bro. I ain't a lot. What I got to do with this, <laughs> <laughs> bro? You act like you any different than me. We the same. 
Nigga. We are one in the same. No, no, stop. We share the same pool of DNA. But we are uh, not the same. We like this. You you are very <laughs> positive, bro. You not like me. <laughs> if you have nothing. I thought, I thought he was going to say, I'm Allah's strongest soldier or something like that. I knew he was about to pull that one out. He trying to act like he a menace or something. <laughs> I'm more. I, I, I'm more of like I. I identify oh God. as uh, Tours from Vinland Saga. You haven't watched the show. You only have to watch like the first two episodes to see was, it. I thought you was talking about Star Signs for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as a Taurus. <laughs> no, you only got to watch like the first two episodes to get what he's about. But greatest character in all the anime, in my opinion. I can't. Who's better? I, I love Vegeta. You gotta understand what happened to Taurus, bro, because he I, willingly. Yeah, died. I understand his depth of character. His depth of character is second to very few. Second to very few. I don't because think his is one of those things where it's like he's barely in the show, but in his minimal screen time, all the information that's implied by his mere existence and his slight actions explains who he is as a man. But the quote that nobody deserves to be heard, you have to understand, from a basic standpoint, morality is what allows us, is what keeps society running. Yeah. Morality is uh, uh, is crazy because morality is the only thing. You can't justify war, but morality doesn't. Yeah. The idea that you can tell a person that God told them that one of his creations that is already dying deserves to to be killed and then follow through with that that is the chief bit that's the strongest ability of morality man and like i mean the idea that we have no enemies at the end of the day we're in this world we're all dying bro you have there's no point to kill I mean, you're anybody. about you're about to actually start now there's nobody that wait what you mean you you you've about finished your growth stage of life. No, I'm just saying because like you when you're born you're old enough to die. I mean, yeah, but you're not dying yet. You are capable of dying. You start dying I I consider you, as a human being you start dying when the number of cells that are reproducing is lower than the count of cells that are dying. Wouldn't there be different since he be in the gym though? I mean, yeah, it might buy him a little bit more time. But I think, buying mass, it's like at a certain point in your 20s. I think guys is a little bit later than girls just because girls experience, obviously, they go through puberty uh, well, not in his 20s. earlier. In my I mean, view, yeah, that's what you're, either, almost you're, you're literally like dying if you're not like, if if you're capable of death, you're dying. Because no. it's like, it's, at the end of the day, it's not like we, we're tortoises and we have like 250 years on the clock. Like, no. If I'm capable of shooting you, are you shot? No. Okay. But we're st- but like, I'm capable. Just but like it's like you're capable of dying. It's that like okay, so think about it this way. You can go to war and kill this random person from Russia, right? Yeah. Or you can wait forever and he'll still die. You'll still get the same result. He'll still die regardless. But you can cut out the intermediaries of everything that he's doing in between. Now but and then. for what? Because mm-hmm. morality told you to? Because God told you to? No, probably because your uh, your chief commander told you to. And that because think about it. At the end of the day, Hitler was the most moral person in 1940s Germany because he was yeah. morality then. Yeah. Morality isn't always a good thing. It's just a code. Yeah. So like, and that's what happens with like cancel culture and stuff. Everybody wants to be the most moral. Mm-hmm. Everybody's trying to be the most moral and be the most because if you're the most moral, you're the most accepted. Yeah. Because it's at the end of the day, it could also be attributed to a fight to be remembered because. Nobody wants to die and not be remembered or whatever. Yeah. Something like that. But Taurus, he, the, the, you don't really understand what he was about because he said that quote and you just think it's like a cool quote or whatever. You just brush by it until you get to like the development of Torfin. Then you really understand how everything that Torfin is learning, Taurus understood in that moment and chose deliberately to die. Yeah. Because he didn't fear death. He was living. For the experience, but there was nothing there. There wasn't. He wasn't willing to kill somebody just to keep himself there because he didn't value his life over anybody else. Everybody else was in that moment. He knew everybody was dying, yeah. or like everybody was obviously was going to die. 
not dying. Everybody was going to die. So for what reason would he feel the need to kill anybody else? And at the same time, he's dying. So why, like, run from it? Everybody does it. Yeah. So, like, like character development-wise, obviously there's other better examples of, like, character development because he was only there for, like, the first two episodes. But when you – he is arguably the greatest symbol – in an anime because there's not many other anime that you can reference where there's a character that died and then like you really you didn't understand why he did it because you knew in that moment he was strong enough to solo like everybody there Mm -hmm. but he did and you're like why did he just take the arrows and you're like maybe he was trying to protect his son but as it goes on you really start to understand why he did it and it's not even through him it's through uh, his son yeah but his son is a better balance of in action and action though to me because in that moment you had seen up until that point he wasn't killing them not he they didn't suffer a single casualty he was just continually knocking them out yeah. so it's not as though it was an inescapable situation for him but he elected to pass on with that knowledge but thorfinn is more of an act it is more of an acting character while he grows into being a man and understanding his father's ideologies while still saying, I do not stand on that exact side. While I'm not the the polar opposite, he is more likely to act in order to pre- prevent the negative effects on himself. And I feel like for me personally, I prefer him more as, as a character. Like, I just, I personally just align more with towards, I would have simply died. No, just well, me though. I understand. At the end of the day, there's nothing I gain from killing somebody. I guess I gain recognition, but in a hundred years, the rush. they're still going to die. Like every in a hundred years, my reputation is going to be tarnished, bro. Like nobody's going to remember me. And even if they do remember me, like I'm Julius Caesar. How many people? How many people? When when you in class and they talk about Julius Caesar, all the girls sit there and start. They get all all giggly and everything. They get oh, Julius Caesar. Like nobody loves the guy. He's just there. The guys are more appreciative of him than the girls are. Like, he's a hero, I guess, by his society, but yeah. he's just a regular, regular dude, bro. He died, too. I mean, he got, he got did dirty. He got did real dirty. But, I mean, all right, bro, it's time to eat. Bet. Say less. How deep are we in now? Done. We finished. It's over. <laughs> all righty. Well... You know, it's been fun, guys. Thank y'all for tuning in for another episode of the podcast and our hero podcast, man. It's your boy Ray here with Rogue behind the producer desk. We got Mr. Producer himself. Say, so, go ahead and give him that last message, sir. Yeah, all right. I'm about to eat. Yeah. And hopefully, I survive editing all this shit because. Yeah, he over there cooked behind the desk. Y'all ain't hearing much today, but uh, yeah, it's time to break our fast and uh, get down. So, as always, we appreciate the support. You know, we got Twitter now. Follow us on Twitter, IG, TikTok, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let a friend know. Tell everybody to lock into the future greatest podcast on the planet, man. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>